Hi everyone, Blake Burkamp, research agronomist with Great Plains, coming to you today from the field where we are running the TurboMax, our vertical tillage tool, in a soybean field as has been unworked uh, since harvest of last year. We've had several rains in this field this spring, so the ground is, is fairly compacted. And we've ran this tool at several different gang angles from zero to six degrees to show you how it's performing in these different conditions. And so we've gotten a lot of questions recently about with our new TerraMax tool and how the TurboMax compares. As you remember, TurboMax has straight blades and the rear gangs split the front. So we have a true three and three quarter inch cut on that seven and a half inch blade spacing. So this farmer's goal here is to open up the ground and create a better seed bed ahead of his milo planting where he can get a better seed to soil contact, make sure he can get that trench adequately closed. As mentioned, it's very hard ground. He's just hoping to open that up a little bit with the TurboMax today. We typically recommend in that last pass to run at that zero degrees to minimize any compaction being created below that depth of tillage. However, in certain conditions, it may be necessary to increase that gang angle with the TurboMax to help shatter and break that soil across. And so we're gonna see here today um, as we increase gang angle, we are able to break across and penetrate that harder ground a little bit better and, and really create the seed bed that the farmer is looking for in these conditions. As you remember, the TurboMax is really designed to be that finishing tool, create level, smooth seed bed. And because of that straight blade and the low gang angles, it's really not designed to take out these weeds. And so that's why the farmer has gone ahead and sprayed, killed these weeds already. Uh, let's look down and see what the machine was doing uh, below the surface at our planting depth. What we did here to show you guys today was run at a zero degree pass, a two degree pass, four degrees, and then the most aggressive six degree uh, gang angle with the TurboMax. So that you could see how the machine was performing at these different settings. We had it set at about two inches in depth and we're running in that seven and a half mile an hour uh, speed. And so, as you can see here, we're standing in the zero degree pass. Uh, this would be our typical recommendation and as that last pass ahead of the planter, as we're wanting to minimize any compaction um, below that depth of tillage. Uh, as I mentioned, that can impact that root and plant development throughout the season. However, in this hard ground, some of these more marginal, uh, tough uh, working conditions, uh, that zero degrees may not be quite enough uh, to give you that seed, to give the seed bed that a farmer could be looking for. All right, so just digging back here in this zero degree pass, uh, we're looking uh, below the surface. You see there's decent soil moisture still below, but on top we're getting pretty hard and compacted. Uh, but running at the zero degrees with the straight blades, the rear gangs are uh, splitting the front gangs, so we're getting that true 50-50 split. Uh, which allows us to get better cut out across the machine. And with the rolling spike arrow, we're kind of knocking that back any of the big ridges in between. You know, there still may be some small ridges left from where those blades were running, but overall, it's going to be pretty smooth below the surface. Now you can see we're not getting quite to the depth uh, at the zero degrees as we put a little bit more gang angle in these other passes you'll see that does tend to suck the machine in just a little bit deeper. Um, but overall, this was looking, looking really good. Uh, probably not quite as aggressive as the farmer is looking for overall. Um, but again, in most conditions, the zero degree passes is what we're gonna recommend for that last pass in front of the planter. Here we're standing in that two degree gang angle pass with the TurboMax. Again, machine is set the same depth the two inches, running that about seven and a half mile an hour speed again. Overall, a few a bit larger chunks, a little bit larger soil clods here uh, compared to the, the zero degree pass, uh, but overall still level, still doing a pretty good, good job overall. As we increase gang angle, we're gonna uh, expect to see a little bit more breakout, uh, breakout horizontally across uh, the blades as they're shifting their angle. Uh, we would expect to see a little bit more break across. 
So here below the surface, uh, you can see being a little bit more aggressive, running a little bit deeper as we start to put some pitch and some angle to those blades. However, still being the straight blade, we're not putting that as severe a compaction in as a shallow, as a concave blade uh, would be doing. Uh, as you can see, uh, soil is also a little bit darker, bringing up a little bit more of that moisture uh, as we're putting a little more gang angle, moving a little bit more soil in these conditions. Uh, from here, we'll move over to our four degree pass and see what the machine, the Turbo Max, was doing at that gang angle setting. Here we are standing in the four degree gang angle pass now. As you can see, I'm doing a much more aggressive job than especially the zero degree pass as we get, begin to put even more uh, angle to this blade. You can see we're really breaking over that soil. As I mentioned, we are pretty uh, compacted, hard surface crust on top. Um, as we get this more aggressive four degree angle, we're really doing a nice job breaking off uh, that compacted layer on top, um, mixing that up, breaking up the soil clods into a nice overall soil uh, finish that's level and really gonna be a great seed bed to plant into. Let's look, see what the Turbo Max was doing below the soil surface at the planting depth. So even at, at our four degrees, uh, these blades, are, are beginning to have enough pitch to them. They're starting to break off uh, more of that soil in between uh, where the blades are running. Again, pretty smooth surface uh, below the, at the depth, uh, what that planter is gonna see and what that row unit is gonna have to uh, ride, ride along uh, to put that seed in the ground. So again, overall nice and crumbly down here, not putting that severe compaction layer in uh, that we could be seeing with a concave blade, high-speed disc type tool. Uh, so again, very important in that last pass ahead of the planter uh, to not be putting in that severe compaction layer uh, below the surface. All right, from here, we'll go check out our last pass, that full uh, six degree gang angle. So here we are standing in the six degree gang angle pass by the Turbo Max, which is, which is the most aggressive uh, gang angle setting. As you can see here, uh, this really speaks to the versatility of the tool. You can see uh, much more soil turned over, uh, still, but still doing a great job finishing even at this more aggressive uh, gang angle setting. Uh, again, we're taking out a lot of these weeds and creating a good seed bed to plant into to get that seed to soil contact and even uniform emergence that the farmer's looking for. Um, again, that crested soil, as, as we increase the gang angle, uh, even to the max, you can see we're really doing a nice job breaking over that compacted layer uh, and opening up, uh, mixing that top couple of inches of soil uh, to get a uniform seed bed to plant into. Uh, now we'll dig down, look what uh, the machine was doing at the planting depth at the six degrees. Again here, a little bit wetter, wetter spot. Um, we are doing, you can tell, much more um, aggressive in the amount of soil that's being moved as we put that pit, more pitch to the tool. We are increasing that fracture across that top zone, or across that soil surface, uh, doing a nice job mixing all that together. As I mentioned, uh, still, as we get increased gang angle, you're gonna expect to probably see a little bit uh, rougher finish below the surface. However, even at the six degrees, this is still uh, very suitable uh, to be planting into. So as you can see here across these range of gang angles, it really speaks to the versatility of the Turbo Max it has to offer in these uh, different conditions. In an ideal scenario, we always recommend running the Turbo Max at true vertical zero degrees for that ultimate seed bed finish. However, I think each field condition is going to be unique and different, and so you should always uh, judge your settings based upon those field conditions you're going into. I think as we see, as seen in this field, a little bit more marginal, uh, harder surface, uh, adding some gang angle to the Turbo Max really helped uh, bring about better soil mixing, create a little bit better seed bed uh, as we got to, as we increase some gang angle with the Turbo Max. Now we're gonna step into unworked area of the field and show you what uh, conditions we're dealing with uh, here today.
again, farmer's looking to open up that top layer and just create a good seed bed ahead of his milo planting. So we dig down here just to show you what kind of crust that we're dealing with. You can see on top, pretty hard, dry conditions, but as you can see from our tillage passes, as we get below the surface, there's still a lot of good moisture uh, there to plant into. So to wrap things up here from the field, I think our key takeaway that we want you to remember is that the versatility of that zero to six degree gang angle adjustment on the TurboMax is really an important feature uh, that allows you to best set or adjust the machine to match your varying soil types or field conditions that may be on your farm. For more information about the TurboMax, visit us online at www.greatplainsag.com.